Barley and oats, either one, uh, at this location will virtually winter kill every year. And the nice thing about them is, is that they grow until the ground literally freezes. But then once the ground freezes, then they'll die. Because the, soil t the, because the air temperatures and soil temperatures are declining as we go into fall, they harden. And they will withstand frosts uh, substantially. And so they will keep growing at a lower rate until the ground freezes. And then when they freeze and die, it's no herbicide. You can, they're dead and you can plant right into them. Barley has a number of, uh, we use barley consistently in the background. You can see the individual, he's incorporating barley seed right now for me. Uh, we use barley as a cover crop for a number of reasons. One is the seed weight's a little heavier so that this broadcast spreader, it does a better job of spreading it. Uh, when this barley first comes up, the seed leaf is the widest of any of the three grains, wheat, oats, or barley. Barley is the widest. So we get soil cover more quickly. Then the a major issue on barley is, is that uh, when it's dead the next spring, it breaks easily. It, it's not as stiff as wheat or, or oats. So that then we can go in and use very minimal techniques to plant in it. And it does facilitate all types of no-till applications much uh, more favorably than the other small grains. Yes, I uh, appreciate the heavier rates because then that will give us more weed suppression. Uh, two I use two bushel, uh, and I'll use two bushel on everything, and we'll we'll have a very uh, a good cover. Uh, if you think a cover crop is good, you might as well maximize its uh, potential, and that will.